Hey everyone, Devit Energy had a not so great year in 2023. The stock price is down 32% off its high and investors are asking if Devon Energy stock is a buy for 2024. That's the question I'm going to look at in this video and that's the question I'm going to answer and let you know if I think Devon Energy is an excellent stock for dividend stock investors to buy in 2024. So let's get right into the analysis. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So Devon Energy provided investors with an outlook for 2024 and there were some key items I wanted to highlight for those of you looking to add Devon Energy stock to your portfolios. Number one, the biggest thing here is that they're forecasting a 20% improvement in free cash flow for 2024, increasing from 2.7 billion up to 3.2 billion. That would be extremely impressive for Devon Energy to pull off, especially considering that when they gave this outlook, they were assuming here in the fine print an $80 WTI price deck and a 5% service cost deflation versus 2023. The bigger part of the uncertainty here is the $80 WTI price. That's the price for oil that they are estimating for 2024. The reason I say this is a bigger risk than the 5% service cost deflation, because if we look at where prices are right now, WTI crude price right now is trading at $71.77. So it's roughly 10% below that price that Devon Energy is assuming for 2024. So this price would have to increase in 2024 and stay at roughly that price. Remember, that's got to be an average price, not just at one point in 2024. So Going into the year, right now the oil price, crude oil, WTI is at $71.77. And so, so Devon Energy is assuming a price that's 10% higher for the full year 2024, which in my opinion is a optimistic assumption to make. Now, when they reported th that outlook, oil prices were higher. So I'm not saying they messed up by assuming that. I'm just saying that between the time they gave us that outlook and today's current oil price, there's a big difference there. And so already there's been a big downward revision in terms of the oil price. And so when Devon Energy reports to investors again, I wouldn't be surprised if they changed that outlook. So that 20% increase in free cash flow for 2024 might be under question it might be under question nevertheless if they are able to achieve that it would be great news for devon energy stock investors and this goes to show just how highly correlated devon energy stock is with oil prices and devon energy revenue and profitability is with oil prices i'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the video and why that's an important variable for investors interested in Devon Energy stock. It's a critical variable, right? You're not gonna wanna miss out what I have to say about that a little bit later in the video. First, let's look at Devon Energy's longer term revenue uh, prospects. And you'll notice here fluctuating revenue, right? Downward going quarterly revenue and then jumping higher when oil prices rebounded, 3.8, 36 billion in revenue in the most recent quarter. Some of this is from acquisitions, divestitures. The company is expanding, adding new oil wells, finding increased supply to serve the market. Given that what I showed you here, the company break even at less than $40 WTI oil price. So it's still profitable. Now I was talking about the $80 WTI price. That was the assumption for the 20% improvement in free cash flow. But the assumption for just being profitable, the company says that they break even with $40 and below. And given that oil prices are at $71, they're well above the price they need to break even. 
So according to this, they would want to produce more because the more they produce, the more contribution profit that adds up to the bottom line. So that is good news for Devon Energy and Devon Energy stock investors. So I wanted to take a look at their balance sheet and the balance sheet is not so strong. Devon Energy has 6.16 billion in long-term debt and 761 million in cash and short-term investments. For a company like Devon Energy that is so cyclical and so dependent on the price of oil, I would like to see a stronger balance sheet with more cash and short-term investment and less debt because you never know the price of oil, right? It fluctuates, it's volatile. It's volatile on both sides of the equation. Supply of oil is volatile, right? Supply increases and decreases based on a number of factors, including you know, production, including what the OPEC organization of petroleum exporting countries, they increase and decrease supply, which has a strong impact on prices. And then demand increases and decreases based on economic activity. When there's increasing jobs, increasing economic growth, the price of oil or demand for oil increases. And the opposite is also true. When economic growth is reversing, then that creates a decrease in demand for oil. And so when you're in this kind of business, you want to have a stronger balance sheet. You want to have less debt and you want to have more cash in reserve to weather these downturns, right? This is not like I sometimes uh, do videos on Verizon and AT&T and they have like $140 billion in debt. But I argue that for them, it's different and it's not such a problem because over 99% of customers of AT&T and Verizon make their monthly payments. They don't switch and their revenue and their profitability is not dependent on the ups and downs of the economy. Whether the economy grows or falls, you're still making your cell phone payment. That's not the case for Devon Energy, which is strongly dependent on the ups and downs of the economy, more specifically on the ups and downs of oil prices. The next thing I wanted to look at is their cash flow from operation. And this metric is strong. Uh, the last couple of years, it's been incredibly strong as oil prices surged. Remember, following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, it's coming down a bit as oil prices have come down off their highs. Still, $6.7 in cash flow from operations in the trailing 12 months is a solid figure to be sure. And going back the last decade, they've produced cash flow from operations in the several billions of dollars, even through downtimes like following 2016, when they generated nearly $2 billion in cash flow from operations. And finally, I wanted to look at their valuation, and I chose to use the price to free cash flow. Looking at free cash flow is more informative for a company like Devon Energy, because so many of their expenses are non-cash, for depreciation. And so we looked at their cash flow from operations. And so I wanted to look at the valuation as it relates to free cash flow. And trading at a price to free cash flow of 10 is not expensive. In fact, if we go back uh, to 2021, this is roughly the cheapest this stock has traded for. Uh, we can go back further. If we go back, let's go back 10 years and you could see that it's still near the cheapest this stock has traded for and you could see the volatility the ups and downs of valuation are related to the ups and downs in free cash flow still you're getting this stock at at near its lowest valuations over the last several years and so it's not expensive so even though it's a risky volatile stock connected to oil prices now here's where I want to discuss what I mentioned earlier about the connection between oil price and Devon Energy. If you're a investor that has no other exposure to oil stocks, like you don't own any oil stocks at all, you don't have any exposure to fluctuating oil prices, then if you were to buy Devon Energy stock, it provides you with diversification, with some risk reduction benefits because you may be spending, I don't know, on average $200 a month to fill up oil, fill up gas in your car. If oil prices were to double, then you would be paying a lot more to fill up gas in your car. 
But if you own Devon Energy stock in your portfolio and crude oil prices were to double, then your investment in Devon Energy stock would increase. The price is most very likely to increase because they're so connected to the price of oil. And so you would be paying more at the pump every month, but then your investment in Devon Energy would also increase. So it, it would have some offsetting impact. The flip side would be true as well. If oil prices were to fall, then the price of Devon Energy stock would be likely to fall, but then you would be paying lower prices at the pump. So it would offset your losses in investment in Devon Energy. So for that reason, when I discuss Devon Energy stock, I recommend it to investors that have zero exposure to oil, right? If you don't have any other exposure to oil stocks or oil in your portfolio, then yes, Devon Energy stock is a buy for you in 2024. For all other investors, it's on the borderline between a hold and a buy, depending on if you think oil prices are going to be higher or lower and how much exposure you have to oil, commodity exposure to oil in your portfolio. The stock is not expensive on its own, but at the same time, it is risky because of fluctuating oil prices. Rising and falling is going to impact the stock. And so it's more suited. It's more suited for investors that have zero exposure to oil in their portfolio. That's primarily what Devon Energy is good for if you don't have any oil stocks in your portfolio. If you like the video you just saw and you want to see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you and I appreciate your support.